What's going on YouTube and welcome to another monthly pickup video this time we're in the month of April thank you for tuning in if you guys are watching this for the first time every month I like to go over some of the sneaker and streetwear and headwear pickups I've got for each month before we get into all of that wanted to give a special shout out to this month's sponsor they are called sneaker logic they were nice to send over their essential kit as well as a pack of their sneaker wipes and there are two reasons why these guys are definitely a company you should check out number one they're canadian first and foremost as i say in all my videos be sure to support local be sure to support your friends and people in your community and the second thing is they're purely organic we know we're all trying to reduce that carbon footprint and when you're cleaning your sneakers, you also want to make sure you're using something that's going to preserve your investment. You want to make sure you're using products that aren't harming those materials. So really, I'm going to just show you guys the essential kit. It comes with a cleaning solution, a brush, and a microfiber towel. I mean, these guys have it all here. I'm going to leave all the information down below. Um, you guys can absolutely check them out. Instagram, their website. As always, thank you very much for sending this over. Really appreciate it and can't wait to get some of my sneakers cleaned up. All right, let's just launch into some of the pickups this week. This hat I have on right now is not a brand new pickup, but again, is a local um, company. You know, this isn't sponsored at all. I bought this myself. I actually stumbled upon them on Instagram they're called Crown TO. Um, they do kind of the upside down logo thing. They have some side patches. They have a few other um, pieces on their website. I'll also link them down below. You guys can definitely check them out. But let's get into the sneakers. It's going to be a bit of a quick video. I have three pairs of shoes I want to show you. Three other pairs on the way. They didn't make it here in time for the video. So I'll show you guys in May. First one here though is... Man, I told you guys on the last one, I've been super, I guess, curious about the brand. Um, these are the Babestas. This is kind of like that baby blue UNC colorway. Super, super easy to wear in summer. And uh, this shoe, um, I really, really like this this colorway in particular. They had a green. They had a few others. I was only able to get this because, and I'll show you guys right now. First, I'll start off by saying on StockX and other kind of resale websites, these are going for quite a bit, well over retail. But you'll find that, check this out. Hope you can see the damages there. This box is, is crushed. Um, it got destroyed. A great thing about um, box damages, even defects, um, quality control issues with shoes, is that typically they won't pass on a sneaker selling platform therefore sellers will let these things go you know in local markets or other platforms because they can't resell them for the same amount for me personally i'm a consumer i'm someone that buys it to wear it so this shoe even though it had a destroyed box and a couple nicks on the actual shoe itself doesn't bother me at all going straight to foot so let's get back into these i mean there's not much more to be said um, I showed you guys in the last video, if you haven't seen it yet, a different base to pick up. This one's super nice. You have the patent leather running all the way across the shoe itself. Again, this isn't going to be for everyone. Um, a lot of people are jumping on the Bapes to kind of train. Other people are not really into it. Super nice. Can't wait for summer. Going to rock these for sure. All right. The next shoe is also a similar situation massive box damage i'm gonna just all right check this out this box was mangled destroyed i taped it up um but you guys can see the top for all the people that know new balance and into this a little bit more you probably already know what these are like i've been saying in some other videos this is one brand that everyone has been on you know um me in particular never been a fan of new balance always been a Jordan guy, got into this primarily due to my fiance, primarily due to some you know exploration of what is more comfortable wearing a pair of Jordans. I'm a little bit older now, you know, I can't just wear bricks on my feet all day. So this is a nice kind of segue between a little bit of hype and something that is also super comfortable. The Bodega collaboration, these came out a year ago. 
I was able to get these again box damages got these for a steel price again box damages always look out for your local places for box damages because a lot of these guys they want to get rid of some of the inventory they can't sell it on a stock X so they're gonna sell it for a little bit less I got a little lucky on this one under retail but let's just get into the shoe itself the reason why I like it a lot you know it has a lot of those subdued kind of um, colors they actually called this color kangaroo I thought that's super cool easy to wear shoe um, for the most part has that little bit of bodega branding this was supposed to be a 15 year anniversary shoe if you guys know bodega I'm sure you all do Boston um, super influential in the sneaker game and it's just really cool they've done other collabs like this in the past this one I like a lot really easy to wear really nice kind of suede all around the shoe not much more to be said really happy about this pickup all right and lastly a shoe that I picked up locally um, used that's the, that's the difference There's a lot of people out there that don't like the idea of used sneakers completely understand it especially you know from a safety health standpoint it might be kind of gross right I started um, collecting J's like a lot of you guys in the sense that you can't buy them brand new they're too expensive especially as a kid or someone growing up you got to find different routes so I always would buy used pairs clean them up you can reference check it on my channel you know 10 years ago eight years ago whatever cleaning up restoring sneakers that have been previously worn and enjoyed and making them kind of new and making them presentable to wear in public so I got really good at restoring shoes this shoe I saw it was a steel price um, kind of at a, a, a local marketplace on Kijiji here in Canada and it's got only one sixty five dollars for these 100% um, authentic Jordan 7s again this shoe I guess it's, I'm gonna call this a USA colorway you guys can correct me this shoe wasn't like a super super popular shoe a lot of people would say it's kind of an ugly shoe for me I was never like a massive massive fan when I picked them up I was like maybe I'll just restore them maybe I'll sell them but the more I have them in hand, I mean, it just might be an easy shoe to kind of wear as you're like everyday beater. I got a little bit of fixing up to do on the shoe, a little bit of paint missing, but overall really great condition for 65 bucks. It's a steal. Again, if you are comfortable restoring shoes, cleaning them, check your local Facebook marketplaces, your Craigslist, your Kijiji. You're going to find steals on there. You're going to be able to pick up shoes way under retail. And especially for some of you young sneakerheads watching, this is a great way to build up your collection because, let's face it, sneakers are expensive. There's a lot of other priorities in your life that you also have to focus on. So guys, that's it. I'll leave links to Sneaker Logic and where I got the hat down below in the description box. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, as always, love to see you guys. Comment down below. Hit me with the like. All that good stuff. If you're not subscribed already, I got a new video coming out at least once a month. Hoping to get more videos out. Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.